<laughs> James, what? He's for... taken the mask thing to another level, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah, I mean, that is certainly about as safe as you could get. <laughs> Should we ask you about the costume first or who you want to hug? I don't, I don't want to hug anyone. <laughs> You're so cuddly. Good point. <laughs> Can I ask you about the costume? Because obviously this is not necessarily what I expected. It should have been what you... Were... I told you I was going to do this. The party gator. I don't know why I have to have a reason for this. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a tough year for everyone. <laughs> There'll be a lot of people at home watching this feeling happy because the party gator's here. Yeah. Letting you know. Lockdown's coming to an end. Time to party. But still be a bit cautious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that the party gator's main message? Yeah. Come out and party with me. But don't let your guard down completely. I'm an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, is this the first talk show you've done with a crocodile guest, an alligator guest? Yes. Yeah. I've given Tom Jones a new experience. Yeah. Not many people can say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. James, I think I should drill a bit more deeply into the whole gator experience that we're all enjoying here this evening. Because there is, I believe, a... I don't know if it's poignant, but certainly it's a backstory, an emotional backstory as to why you are dressed as a gator. Yeah, this is uh, based on a childhood toy I had. Won it at a fair when I was seven, the size of me at the time. There he is. That's it, that's the toy. That, that, was, that was last year. I, I had to put him in storage. My oldest friend, I put him and my drum kit in storage together. And then that was before the pandemic. And then the pandemic hit. Yeah. I was like, I can't afford to keep him in storage forever. <laughs> So I phoned a school that I used to work at and I said, have you got room for a drum kit and a party gator? <laughs> and they bit my hand off for the drum kit. <laughs> they weren't too pleased about what came with it. <laughs> so much so that two weeks later when I checked in on them, they'd thrown it in the tip. Oh. Now, some people might think that this is an overreaction to that. <laughs> <laughs> But I want to carry on his memory. You've got to remember, I went, when it at seven, my parents didn't want it in the house because it was massive. My whole life, I've fought to keep it in every flat, every house, <laughs> arguments with flatmates, girlfriends, all sorts, to try and keep this gator alive. <laughs> <laughs> and then a bunch of teachers threw it in the bin. Right. So now, I'm immortalising him forever yeah. by becoming him. <laughs> Hold it, so this is not just for this evening, this is you for the rest of your life? Look... As far as I, I... Until I'm comfortable stepping out of this outfit. <laughs> yeah. And I, I don't see a day when I don't want to be in this. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear about the fate of the first party gator, but thrilled that we can enjoy the company of the next party gator. Yeah. Joe you know what? That school couldn't kill his memory. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> if those teachers are watching, I hope all your kids fail their sats. <laughs> <laughs>